Mr. President. God bless you. State of the Republic of Malawi. Your Excellency Monica Chakwera, First Lady of the Republic of Malawi. Honorable Samuel Daliso Kawale, Minister of Agriculture. Honorable Daniel Nivagara, Minister of Higher Education, Science and Technology. Honorable Minister, my brother, we are here because Takonda Kudia Buino. Let me first of all greet you, Your Excellency Dr. Lazaro Chakwera, President of the Republic of Malawi, for the dedicated commitment of officials, the promoters and organizers, and to all exhibitors of this important agriculture fair which gives us an opportunity to see and assess the current status of the Malawi economy. The high level of relations that both countries are experiencing a strong foundation for the consolidation for bilateral cooperation and the business partnership focused on investment and trade promotion between our countries impacting on the sustainable development and the well-being of our peoples. At this point in time, Malawian exhibitors are at the Maputo International Trade Fair, showing casing the products and the Mozambicans are doing the same here in Blantyre. Right. Over the last five years, in, in a concrete way, main investment have been made in various sectors with a view to driving developments of the two countries, namely on infrastructures, the construction of the Mozambique Malawi power transmission line, as President said, we have Project MoMA, takes precedence with the works already commenced following the ceremonies held at Pombea in the Balaka district on the Malawian side and at Nyalikune in Changara district, Tete province on the Mozambique side. With presence and the strong support of His Excellency Mr. President Lazarus Chakwera. This adds to the already listed possibility posed by the Berue Mine Hydropower Station a long rural, rural river with a capacity to generate 1.9 megawatts. The rail and the port corridors, which are truly development corridor, this is the case for the ports of Nakala and Baira, which are gateways for Malawi, Zambia, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Zimbabwe. They are any alternative to the Dar es Salaam and the Daba roads. We have invested in expansion and the modernization of the Nakala port and the railway line that Malawi with, with regards to foreign trade and His Excellency Dr. Lazaro Chakwera has honored us by launching the first train carrying fuel from Nakala to Blanta. <laughs> The establishment of a dry terminal in planet at the Nakala port to facilitate cargo handling and increase traffic both ways from and to, port, to the port. On the other end, in Mozambique, we have extracted the alternative rail line to Villa Nova de Frontera, which crosses the railway bridge of Zambezi, which has been out of service since 1986. On train, the Denza Mwanza one stop border pause about to start with a view to facilitating cross border trade between our countries. <laughs> Furthermore, this means that we are writing a new chapter in our economic relations 
in real sectors of agriculture, industry, construction, transport, infrastructure, tourism, information and the communication technology, education, among other opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the excellent friendly and political cooperation relations between our countries that we have mentioned, the level of trade is quite reduced. Malawi does not appear in, in, in the list of the top 10 trading partners of Mozambique, and the, the same applies to Mozambique in Malawi. From 2019 to 2023, Mozambique's trade flows to Malawi show a surplus trend, with export growing at 44% to a total amount of 245 million USD dollars compared to the growth of imports by 58% with a total record of 19.5 million US dollars. With regards to export, the product listed as the most exported in 2023, a mineral or chemical blending, fertilizers, nitrogen, non-processed tobacco and its derivatives, soaps, iron, steel clad, rolled products, petroleum oils, all, all oils from bituminous, minerals, and pasta. In its turn, import products from Malawi in 2023 were bakers, were baggage and other solid waste from soya beans, fruits and oil seeds, leaf beads, beds, plastic pipes, and its accessories, corn, plates, among others. In terms of private investment from Malawi to Mozambique, over the last 10 years, we have recorded the approval of 11 projects likely to create 1,093 jobs involving Malawian private investors to a total amount of 47 million US dollar, of which about 19.7 million US dollar was foreign directly direct investment of Malawi. In this regard, it is urgent to bring reforms relative to enabling business involvement in both countries. This will go a long way in taking maximum advantages of investment opportunities existing in Mozambique and Malawi. Therefore, let me underline some aspects I consider to be important for attracting Malawian investment to our country. First, economic growth prospects for this year show an upward trend of 5.5% where the performance of the extractive industry stands out. This is driven by the dynamics in the export of liquefied natural gas, agriculture, tourism and logistical services. In addition to the economic growth, macroeconomic stability reflected by an annual inflation rate of 2.9% in July and foreign exchange stability, which is at 1 USD to 60 for meticals or Mozambican money. Secondly, we have carried out reforms with a positive impact on the business environment where wealth are lighting is investment art and the labor act, facilitation of foreign trade in goods in transit along the border, fiscal burden reduction in the agriculture sector as visa waiver to 29 countries, and the establishment of a bank guarantee fund intended to facilitate access to credit by small and medium enterprises. With the availability of infrastructures and the reforms on receive to improving the business environment, the following opportunities that translate into synergies and the complementarity arise. One, joint exploitation of products that are common on both sides, such as maize and the tobacco, in order to increase the economy of scale and the bargaining capacity which induces the creation of the value chain that include the industrial activity and the sharing use of infrastructures. Two, 
opportunity for investment by Malawian business people in agro business and the logis logistical services, particularly in provinces and regions that close the border with excellent agricultural meteorological condition in provinces such as in Nyasa and the Zambezi Valley, which covers the whole Tete province and the parts of Manika, so far as Zambezi provinces. Three, investments on collaboration in the tourism sector, taking into consideration the combined tourism attraction that include the wonder of Lake Malawi or Nyasa de Mozambique, the Nyasa Reserve and the Indian Ocean Code, among others. For the promotion of other connections between Malawi and Mozambique, in addition to roads and the railway, should deserve our attention as a factor for connectivity and the mobility of persons and goods, including tourists. Five, the potential of fisheries, which is said in inland waters with focus on the domestic and foreign market constitute another higher level opportunity including aquaculture and the fostering of crocodile farms and other initiatives. And the six, one, energy, the potential of natural gas reserve of the Ruvuma basis is worth harnessing with the gas allocation for the domestic market there will be opportunity for investment in petrochemical beneficiation industry like fertilizer, power generation, and the use of natural gas as liquid fuel and for vehicles. Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, allow me to share an algorithm for the need to advocate, but not yet, let's go again. Before I conclude, allow me to share an algo for the need to advocate for the critical phase of our economies, for the progress and the prosperity of our countries. I want to talk about energy transition. No, nowadays, our countries are in higher risk contest with the exacerbated wars in Europe and the Middle East with the immediate impact on the availability of imported gains, grains, and energy commodities. This happens because we are countries most vulnerable to the impact of climate change, but that are less polluting, and we are the countries that host extensive areas of forests that absorb carbon. We need to talk in one voice demanding a just energy transition. This is my request at this juncture so, so that we can realize our agenda, not the agenda of those who all are already fulfilled. I also wish to acknowledge the effective collaboration of Malawi and commend the person. Can you help me for translation from now? Can you give the mic? I want to talk to you. Thank you. I'm saying I also wish to acknowledge the effective collaboration of Malawi and commend the person, personal and unequivocal commitment of my brother, Mr. President Chakwera, who support reminded and wavering over the last five years of our shared journey for the development of our economies. Pantawi ino afuna afurukoze kumaso kwa mikira ubale umene ulipo pagadipa a president Dr. Lazarus Chakwera kumaso a president Usi pazimene za kalazi kujitika kwa zaka five za bidazi pamena kala kutumikira maiku hao Malawi's developed fellows follows stage whose construction requires the dedication and the patience of all Malawians Ubali umene ulipo pagadipa mima kwa mene wa awila maiku wa wili wa ndi obi ndi ulira antu ziku la Mozambique kumaso Malawi. I ask all to be patient because as you know as well that when you are planting maize you cannot eat it in the same day. You need three, four months after then and 
give us, give him chance to give you the maize after four months. A little bit slow. Yeah. It's not good for translation. <laughs> but so Zuma can be born a president. I would be at Antawazir. Chimenezi kubemba nchakuti basikala kupiri ra chipanga karim kabiara chimanga mumadigira be miyeziwi itatu inai chimanga chije chisa naaje. Yeba mafurika kuzisi tuzimene za yambiga pakare kupiri ra kuti muone zatabwanji. Malawi positively changing in terms of our economy in the years of end critic. Nziko la Malawi liwona kusintha pamene ulimi upita ntsogolo ngakhale ndokumana ndizo obuta zosera siyana. Government is building foundation for the sustainable development of the country for the coming years and this does not come by chance. Ndipo kuchitiko chimene ichi sikuti chikhoza kungowera popanda kulimbikira pafunika ndithu kuti tikhala kulimbikira sizibangobwera mwachi abeyai.